Hey guys, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. I used to suffer from migraines and headaches until about five years ago when I figured out how to beat them and I've been migraine free ever since. Now I teach other people how to do the same and in this video, we're gonna be talking about EMFs, electromagnetic fields and frequencies, how to eliminate them and why they're causing migraines and headaches. So EMFs have become the newest and the most recent stressor to our bodies. It has only been within the last 10, 20 years, 25 years that they've really become massive in our lives. And this is because of phones, because of um, cell phones and laptops and desktops, Wi-Fi routers, uh, smart meters, and other electronics that we hold on us. Anything with a battery is letting off an electrical field. So we wanna be careful, even with things like watches. Some athletes have problems with watches because it sets off um, how their body is functioning. So you have to be careful. And we have to remember that some people are much more sensitive than others. If you are hypersensitive, you wanna be very, very careful. You'll want to do the be as strict as you can with some of the things that we're going to talk about. If you're not as sensitive, you'll want to stick with the, the minimum of keeping your phone away from you, staying away from your router, things like that that we're going to talk about. So what are electromagnetic fields or frequencies? So these are anything given off by uh, an electric, um, uh, an electromagnetic um sort of source or, or battery or a source of energy, basically. So there are EMFs actually emitted by the earth, but they're generally thought of as good for us. We need them to survive. They have been with us for millions of years. Our body is adapted to them. But the ones coming from our electronics are actually rated as carcinogens. So that means they cause cancer. So we really want to be careful. We are only in the first two decades of studies on these, um, on these uh, massive, it's basically a massive experiment on what happens when you bombard human beings with all of these different frequencies and fields and rays. So you, you wanna be careful, you don't wanna end up being the experiment uh, that everyone else learns from. You wanna notice, if you are, are, are um, electrosensitive, that you get as far away from all of these sources as possible. If you're in the downtown of a city, this is very difficult because there's Wi-Fi everywhere. So you want to kind of make the best decisions you can. And there are many steps that you can take, even things like, um, like reflective paints and um, bed covers that uh, act like Faraday cages, block out rays, or grounding mats that you can sleep on, things like that, that are, are more on the extreme and if you're very uh, electrosensitive. So what is happening is that when you put, let's say you put your phone up to your head, um, it has actually been shown that it heats up your head. It heats up your head and it uh, heats up your brain. So with an adult brain, uh, we already have a, a very dense bone, so it has less penetration into our brain. But with a baby, there is very, very little. They have a very soft skull, and so these rays are uh, penetrating directly into the brain and they're heating the brain. So, But they're not only heating the brain, they're affecting each and every individual cell. And each of our cells has what are, what are called calcium channels. So these regulate the amount of calcium inside and outside of the cell. Now, when we get exposed to these EMFs, these calcium channels can get stuck open and this allows all of this calcium to get into the cell. Now, inside of the cell, calcium is actually very exciting to the cell. So like we've talked about before, glutamate, which is found in MSG, is very exciting to the cell. This is one of the reasons why MSG is such a problem for some migraine sufferers, because it's exciting their brain cells and their brain cells do not have the capacity to be this excited. They're already fatigued. So what starts happening is that if all of this calcium gets into the cell, it can become excitotoxic. So this, excite, uh, this excitation eventually becomes too much for, for the cell, it becomes toxic, and the, the, the neuron or the cell can die. It can actually end up dying because all of this calcium is coming into the, uh, into the cell through the calcium channels because it's not being regulated because of these EMFs. We have to remember that our body is electric. 
it functions on on uh, magnetism and electronics electrics it is always using a low level electricity to run everything our nervous system is electricity I'm moving from one cell to another so we want to understand that when we're adding in more electricity to the system this messes with things this messes with our functioning so the easiest thing that we can do and sort of the first thing and the thing that we need to do regularly because it's been shown to be um, incredibly uh, clinically helpful for things like inflammation um, and regulation of our body systems is grounding. Grounding is huge. So grounding is a process by which your body, your bare body or through a, a natural fiber touches the earth. So the earth um, our body acts like a, a battery, so it can actually build up a charge. And so when we step on the earth, our body has evolved over millions of years to use the stepping on the earth as a way to discharge this uh, ex extra electrical buildup. So this is a very easy way for our body to actually um, to, uh, to, to, to act as, uh, to use the earth as a, an antioxidant reserve. Just like when we eat some blueberries, we get antioxidants. When we step on the earth, this acts as antioxidants and it neutralizes any excessive um, electrical charge, we can say, in our body. And our body releases this into the earth. So that's why a lot of people feel so good when they go barefoot on, on stones or on the beach or for a walk in the forest uh, because your body is interacting with the earth and is able to release all of this um, sort of pent up energy, we can call it. So grounding is one of the best ways to do it. The simplest way is to just make sure that you're uh, either going barefoot or that you're using shoes and other things that touch the earth that are natural. So plastics and rubbers are not natural. They insulate and so they are not allowing that connection with the earth and uh, and the, the antioxidant uh, kind of benefits that you can get so um, the, the easiest way is to, to get a natural fibered shoe or to go barefoot but then if you're very sensitive if you need extra you can actually use what's called a grounding mat now my grounding mat has specific instructions for how to use it how to install it but this would be put on your bed or on, on a place of work and it would be connected to a grounding cord which goes and it grounds with the earth and this can be used as a um, almost like a, a portable or an inside source of of grounding which you can find online if you google grounding mat and then the the, the next biggest thing is that Electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic frequencies, they drop off in a exponential um, manner. So at let's say one inch, you're at 100% of its total power. But then at maybe two feet, you're at only 10%. So it drops off exponentially quickly. So the more distance that you can get from these things, um, from these sources of electromagnetic fields, the better. So a simple thing with your phone, instead of holding it up to your head, you're using something like a, like an air tube headset, or you're just plugging it into your regular headset and keeping it uh, about two feet away from your body. Again, you should never be sleeping with your phone. You should not have your phone anywhere on your body, um, especially near, um, near your breasts, near your genitals, near your head. You should not have it there. Those are not good places to have it. Um, they're affecting your body, affecting your physiology. They're causing problems. They're causing heating in the body, again, and they're causing problems with the calcium channels and many more things that we're starting to find now. So distance is a big thing. Keep it as far away from you as possible. Uh, try and stay as far away from your Wi-Fi router as possible. Uh, put it on the opposite end of your house. Um, don't sleep with your phone in the room if you're very sensitive. Some people, uh, if they're very electro-sensitive, they will actually have to uh, flip the breaker in their room because even though your electrical outlets may not be plugged in, because they are connected to a breaker that is on, they can actually still be emitting electricity, emitting, not electricity, but an electromagnetic field. So some people, if they're very sensitive, if they're what we call the canary in the coal mine, that acts as a example for what everyone else should follow, um, they, they will need more support and maybe flipping the breaker, keeping the phone in, a, in another room, keep the Wi-Fi router um, on the other side of the house, and do not live somewhere with a smart meter. Smart meters are, 
uh, creating big problems. And with the kind of rolling out of 5G, 5G is starting to cause big problems. So if you start developing migraines or headaches, all of a sudden you wanna make sure this is one of the areas that you vet out, you check out, you see if there are any towers in your area, uh, any towers that have been set up, if, if 5G has been activated in your area, um, if you're sleeping with your phone, a lot of people sleep with their phone in their bed with them, um, under their pillow or on their pillow, and this is absolutely terrible, get, get away from it. And then, of course, airplane mode. Airplane mode is a great way if you need to carry your phone on you, if you need to carry some electronics on you, you go into airplane mode, you make sure you turn off Bluetooth because Bluetooth does the same thing. You make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi does the same thing. So you go into airplane mode, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. This cuts out many, many of the, the, the more harmful um, electromagnetic fields. But again, with batteries, we wanna be careful with any batteries. You wanna see how sensitive you are. So I'm going to link to a book in the description, kind of, it'll go into detail on um, electromagnetic fields, how to understand them, how to get away from them, a lot of simple and easy tools and techniques to reduce your exposure and to help your body deal with what's going on. And let me know in the comments below, do you notice uh, your phone or electronics affecting your migraines or your headaches? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark from MigrantProfessional.com. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left corner. And if you want to learn more about migraines and headaches than you've ever known before and understand what causes them, what creates them, and what you can do about them, make sure to go to MigrantProfessional.com. Thanks.